In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hyperlinks and deep hyperlinks from text to documents to Lexis and Westlaw authorities. So here's our example. We've got a textual sentence followed by a citation. This is in Microsoft Word. What I want to do is create a hyperlink so that when I distribute this document electronically, either as a PDF, a Word document, or via email, the reader can click through directly to this case without having to fire up Westlaw or Lexis and type the citation in themselves. So here's how we do it. I've got the case open in Westlaw Next and what I need to do is capture the hyperlink that will link directly to this case. The easiest way to do this is to come up to the title of the case at the top of the Westlaw Next page, right click it, and select copy link address. Now I'm using Google Chrome and if you're using a different browser you might see a different option for capturing the hyperlink but in Google Chrome it's copy link address and it's going to be something similar in other browsers. So all I have to do is click on that that's copied to my clipboard, come over to Microsoft Word, highlight the portion of the citation that I want to hyperlink and I'm going to go ahead and do the entire citation. Right click what I've highlighted, select hyperlink and then in the address box type control V to paste the hyperlink that I just copied from Westlaw. Now when the reader clicks on this hyperlink they will be directed in their browser to the front page of the relevant case American paper. So it's that easy. But let's say I don't want to hyperlink to the front page. Instead, I want to hyperlink to the portion of the case that I'm actually citing. I've got a pen site here, and I want to direct the reader's attention to page 716. Isn't there a way that I can deep link that hyperlink just like a pen site? Well, the answer is yes, there is. I'm going to scroll down through the case till I get to page 216. Here it is. This is the information that I want to direct the reader's attention to. If I want the reader's Westlaw browser to open to this part of the opinion, here's what I need to do. First of all, I'm going to click on the headnote link to take me back up to the headnotes at the top of the page. This is the headnote that I want to direct the reader's attention to. I'm going to right click, right click on the headnote number and again select copy link address. Now I'm going to go back into Microsoft Word and change the hyperlink that I previously created. edit that hyperlink and paste the new hyperlink in. Now when I open this hyperlink instead of taking me to the front page of the case it takes me directly to the beginning of the text that relates to Headnote 1. So it's just like using a pinpoint citation except it's a hyperlink. I call it a deep hyperlink. It takes the reader directly to the relevant part of the case. Now let's take a look at how to create the same kind of deep hyperlink to an authority on Lexis Advance. Uh, I've got Lexis Advance open here and I'm open to the same case that I was looking at on Westlaw, American Paper. I need to scroll down until I get to the portion of the case that I want to direct my reader's attention to. And here it is. In Lexis Advance, to create the hyperlink, all you have to do is select a few words from the relevant portion of the opinion and then from the pop-up menu select copy. In the dialog box that opens you'll see that there is a copy citation as hyperlink option. Make sure you've got that checked. Now in the preview box I'm seeing the entire citation to the case. I already have the citation typed in my Word document so I don't want to copy the whole thing. All I want to do is capture the hyperlink. If I right click on that citation and select copy link as address then I can copy it and paste it as a hyperlink in Microsoft Word. So come back over to Word, highlight the citation again, right click it, select hyperlink and then paste the hyperlink into the address box. Now when my reader activates this hyperlink their browser will open in Lexis Advance right to the provision that I wanted them to read. So that's how you create deep hyperlinks in Lexis Advance and Westlaw Next. One word of caution, these hyperlinks only work if your reader subscribes to the same service that you do. So it works well within a law firm or between law firms that subscribe either to Westlaw or to Lexis 
or to both services. But if you're creating a document for someone who does not subscribe to the same service or to any service, then you might be better off just attaching the documents as PDFs to your email. If you want to create hyperlinks for someone who doesn't have access to Lexis or Westlaw, then you can create hyperlinks to one of the open source research tools like FindLaw or LoisLaw, or you can link to the open source databases that most states maintain for both case law and legislation. So, this is a very handy tool for creating deep hyperlinks to Lexis and Westlaw within email, but just make sure that your reader is going to have access to the same database. That's it.